Good morning, Finley Dreamers. Good morning, Mrs. Adams. And good morning, Finley Scholars. Good morning, Mr. Miller. Good morning, Finley family. Good morning, Mr. Kirby. And you can see I've changed my location. This is very <laughs> exciting for me. I have Mr. Sun's class behind me, and I'm going to be doing a lot more of that. So I was telling some teachers out in the hallway just a few minutes ago that the first teacher that e e emails me today will be the next teacher I come into their class for them. So whoever that's going to be, I can't wait to see tomorrow what class I'll be with. Well, Mr. Miller, the great thing about today, um, we have some people that are home either with their own sick children or themselves don't feel well. And you know, when we don't feel well, it is safest and best to be home. But I am so proud and heartened by the number of people that are helping out in new ways today. Maybe they're not meeting with their small groups of students, or maybe they're changing their schedule so they can be full-time teachers in classrooms today or help out with a different lunch in the lunchroom, just like I see all the students in Mr. Sun's class helping out with our morning meeting. That is what is fantastic about Finley, is that we all work together to make it a great day. And Mr. Miller, I can tell by the vibes that you're giving off that it is a great day for you too. Yes, I'm smiling underneath my mask. I mean, strongly smiling because I don't even have to look behind me because I know they're doing the right thing. I hear no voices. That's why it's so important to talk about routines, procedures, the way we do things over here. This class has it down. Every time in the hallway during a restroom break, which is coming up soon in about 20 minutes for this class, you see them doing the right thing and it makes them feel calm in the, in the process. That's what I wanna say. We do it for a reason. We can get over with the routine quickly in a calm manner and then we come back to learning faster. That's the reason why we do it the way we do it. So I'm gonna ask a few students out here what they do to make that work for the whole class, just not for them. It's better together, as you already said. Hey, anybody out there wanna tell me what we do in the hallway for our bathroom routine. Okay, let me turn around briefly and see. Gemma, can you speak up loud? What are some things you do to make it work very well in a calm manner? I sit, sit in um, the hallway level middle, and if somebody stops them, they come out the But see, yeah. don't you love that? She does this to remind them she doesn't speak because it's level zero. It's perfection in action. Anybody else want to add to her statements? Okay, Jermaine. We also have to sit in line order. Line order, so they already know where they're at in line. So they're, they have that in their mind. It's, it's a routine that they have down. Either. And one more person to speak to that. Okay, one more person. Go ahead, Z. We also um, have to listen to the teacher, but do our work. But see, you added your mind, the, what your mind is thinking while you're doing those routines. Never give up and listen because listening is not only to what the teacher says, it, what he looks like and what he shows you. The gestures he shows you every day during those routines is the best of all I've seen in an action. So thanks for all that information. But last but not least, I'm just going to move ahead with this. Braden, can you come up here and sit by me, please? Oh, this is so exciting. Hey, by the way, you guys are doing wonderful back here. Keep up the fantastic routine that you're showing the whole school. Now, did you have a shout out today? I have a shout out. Oh, shout, shout out. out. I have a shout out for all teachers for greeting us and making all students feel comfortable here. And what does Mr. Sun do to greet you every day? You have choices. They can give him a handshake, hug, or high five. Wow. And you can't enter the room until you receive one of those options, right? 
because that is how important it is to this room, this community of learners. So thank you for saying that. We really appreciate it. Good work. Wow. It, it's like you rehearsed all this. But no, these these are coming naturally from these students who know exactly what to do. Thank you so much for your help. And while we're talking about helpers, you know, it's easy to spot helpers when we really need it, right? You When you're sick and you go to the doctor, your doctor's your help, a nurse, maybe uh, somebody at a crossing guard. But you know what? Every day we are so lucky to have helpers as teachers. So please, students, scholars, be big. Thank a helper today. Be a helper today because all of that is going to pay off someday when you might find yourself in college. So Mr. Sun's class, are you ready for a college cheer? All right, go. Two, four, six, eight. When does fifth grade graduate? 20, 20, 2033. Two, four, six, eight. When does fourth grade graduate? 20, 20, 2034. Two, four, six, eight. When does third grade graduate? 20, 20, 2034. Two, four, six, eight. When does second grade graduate? 20, 20, 2036. Two, four, six, eight. When does first grade graduate? 20, 20, 2037. Two, four, six, eight. When does kindergarten graduate? 20, 20, 2038. Finley dreamers, dream big. Yeah. We believe. We believe. Whole hearts. Whole hearts. Better together. Better together. Yeah.